Hi, uh, this is uh, Tilak. Welcome back to our VBCS uh, uh, tutorial. This part or uh, this session, what we are going to do is a continuation of the last session. The last, uh, basically, this is a, I think, is the third session of that the same part of the data operation. I mean. A customizable credit operation I can say or we can say like you know, manually you can do the credit operation so the first part we did that idea like you now creation of the edit page the second part we did editing it now we are going to do the delete so delete is not much different than the, the edit part now what we do here is we are we are not going to do this button because there's no point of doing a two button for the same operation so we are going to add a button here that will do the delete and uh, that will call the same page like a like a uh, edit and there will be a new button in for a deletion that will delete okay now let's see in that uh, manage page we add a column so we go to the table we go to the data we have we create a dummy column that's a new empty column okay okay now that will be called a delete so anyway, then we make them as a, a like you know what we do here is okay. Now that is called delete. We don't need a sortable. We we'll make it disabled. So the delete is done. Sortable is disabled. Okay. No sortable is disabled. Okay. Sortable is disabled. Now the column is ready. Now what we do here is we add a button to the column. Okay, so I'm just tracking drop a button into the column. So now the button is ready. Okay, now the button called delete. Anyway, we are going to use the icon. It's only icon, and it doesn't have borders. We can have whatever you want to have it. Have it. Size is smaller. Then I have a start icon. I am adding that. Okay, we are going to edit the image. Click on the image. It goes to ID with this 20. We are using it for the standard. The height will be adjusted. Now we are going for that. Okay, we are taking the person level delete. Uh, that is all we are doing. The delete is ready. Okay, now what we do? Okay, now when the delete is ready, we can call an action like edit, like edit, and uh, or we can do one thing we can do here. We go a little again. We don't do a, we call the same edit as we want. What we do here is we introduce a parameter in the same action which is doing the edit. Because edit, edit also call the create one with a parameter. Am I right? So we call that whatever the edit is that we call it with a parameter, the parameter decides whether it's the edit or decide. So we don't have to have one more action. Okay, I'm making a little, little more. Okay, now I have action. The button edit action, am I right? Now, the credit operation is called, no. I think no, 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 no. We'll, 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 we'll go simpler way. We don't complicate it. We'll go simpler way. Okay, this is hard coded. Uh, it is nothing much here. Okay, so we'll go simpler way. Like we create a delete, we we'll go for a, like, you know, simpler way. Because there is nothing much in that uh, knowledge person. Okay, now click the button, you go to the action, create a new event on action. Okay, so button delete action chain. Okay, delete action chain. Okay, that we have current and all the stuff. Okay. Let me go. There is something that I'm missing here. That the 
this is what I want to call actually, like you know. Anyway, okay, we will do that. Uh, we don't have to complicate too much. We put it. Button table edit, you know, button table edit. Table edit action, okay. Same thing we do that. It's the same thing what is doing here is the only difference is the parameter which is sending is instead of u, it is sending c. That is what I want to you know parameterize it, but that is fine. Like you know, we do assigning the same base, assign the variable. We are assigning the variable key to the uh, key to the person selection. Okay, that is what we are assigning it. Make sure this is a expression it is also default. We don't have to do anything like you know. Okay, that is done. And we are going to call a no, we are going to we call a chain. No, we are going to call that uh, a page. You know, right? That's how we are going to call that. So the page will be that operation. Okay, the mode is D. That is a static that is fine. But the person ID is, is that there are two input parameters of the page, one is the person ID. That is uh, what we can do here is we select a person ID, put it on the person ID. Okay, that is what we are doing here. That is expression that is done. So it is very similar to like you know the table edit. The only difference I'm seeing there is uh, instead of Instead of C, I mean, instead of U, it's sending a D. That's what I thought. We can have a one variable here. And only one method. That variable can come from a page itself. When you click the edit button, that passes the uh, U. When you are clicking the edit button, that passes the D. So we don't have to have a one more action chain. But that is fine for the timing. In the, the coming lessons, we like, you know, we go that way. Okay. So now this is going to be called. Okay, that is done now. So now let me go here and uh, now I'm clicking this part. The okay, it is ready. Now this button is not ready. Button is not displayed. The reason is one button is enabled on C, one other button is enabled on U. Now that is what we are going to change it now. Now let me go to the red operation. Let me go to the page uh, designer. Let me go to the code. Let me have a button. Okay, this is my button. Okay. So no, this is I do I go up to the bind variable. Okay. Now the bind variable okay, I mean like if variable if Find it. Okay, now I'm going for a delete. Okay, going for a delete, this is going to say delete, and the same thing say delete BNG. I can, uh, let me say, let me say delete BNG. I can do delete. So that should work as it is. Okay, the only thing is I have to disable this. Disable this fine. This play action is fine. I don't need this disable part because there is no there is no work is like you know I don't care whether the page is valid or not. But I want to delete it. There's no point of like you know validating the data. Okay. okay. This is what I'm going to remove it. I don't need an action here. That's up now because we are going to have a a different action, a delete action. Okay, that is done. Okay, now let's see how does it look like. There's no action, just a delete button. We did everything manually. Now we go and look at that page. I'm refreshing the page. The 
okay i'm just calling that yes 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 okay this is not going to do anything okay so now we are going to do an action on delete okay this is i'm changing that to delete Event on the button. Okay, I'm just doing the button. Button. Make sure you are choosing the right button. That delete. Delete is on action chosen. Okay, delete. Okay, we are okay. This is we are not going to copy anything because the reason we copied the edit button from the create button is. The edit, the validation of the data, everything works great and edit is the same story. There's not, not much different. The only thing is that is one is uh, create an insert row, one is update row. Here when you are deleting it, we don't have to worry about whether the data is right or wrong or data is valid. We don't know. Anyway, we are going to get rid of the data. So like, you know, there's no point of. So directly we are going to the, go to the call action. The only thing we can do here is we can have one more pop-up to confirmation, to the confirmation. That will all be do it later. Okay, just we get into here. Call rest. The rest is basically on a person is a delete data. So delete for a person. Okay. There's no mass delete here, person. Okay. So all it is asking is the person ID. You know, if we go to person ID, even does not ask the second parameter of body, it doesn't need a body because it's just deleting it. Okay. That's it. When you are deleting it, then basically once it is done, we are going to return. Okay. That's all we are going to no, the return is success. Okay. Uh, we can have success of both. Okay, let me come here. Then, uh, okay, we have we have to have some kind of a, oh, this is we do that here. Then we do a, a return. Okay. Okay. Now, what is the is doing here is I can have a proper name and everything. I'm not like you know doing it. Uh, yeah, you can have a like you know delete action notification. Something like you can have it. Okay. You can say yes, 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 successfully deleted. Okay. Successfully deleted. Okay. Deleted. Who did you delete? I have a data here. A uh, person. Person data. Yeah, this is to remain there because we are deleting it from the object. So the name is the name is still here. So it should say this. Okay. Delete. Delete. No, that's not. Delete. Delete. Okay, that is right. So is it returning it? Uh, we don't need a fancy and we have to need the same information. We have fancy if we don't need. But you can say warning. Yeah, okay, you can have a warning. That's fine. It is all not big. You can choose what you want to do. Okay. Now let's go here. I'm going back and refreshing my page. And choosing the DDD, new DDD. See, I'm deleting the guy. Successfully deleted. It is not going back. That is gone. The person is gone, but the reason is it is not. I'll just say information. Should go 
No, that's not. No, sorry, it is going back. It was my mistake. Return goes back to that the area. It was not a return. It's supposed to be a uh, navigate back. Okay, I will get up. Navigate back. Okay, that is right. Okay, it is navigating back. So, so let me refresh here. I delete one more person. We will delete the txx, etc. We don't need all tplets. Okay, I am just deleting it. Okay, it came back. Right. So, if you are looking at that, deletion is done. Okay, it is not doing any validation. Uh, we can do a validation also, but that we will do it in a kind of later session. We will validate it. The data whether the person is used or not that is deleted. As of now, this is seven. Now you know, like you know, how to create, edit, delete using a simple page. You also learn, like you know, how to create a variable. We haven't talked about uh, type yet, but you know how to create a variable, how to make the variable parameter, how to use the icon, and also you know that like you know, creating action or reducing the action. All this we learn. Okay. Uh, let's see. I like you know what we can do next time with a different uh, page. Okay, if you have any question as usual, like you know, you can put the question into that, or you can uh, like you know, if you have suggestion, let me know, or if you know better way of doing it, please, please let me know. Thank you.